All right, Rachel, so it's 6 a.m. in the morning. As you can see, I've been up for two hours. Um, our show is about to start in 60 minutes. I have my outfit picked out already. Peter Schrager over there. Peter, say what's up to Rachel Ray. What up, Rachel Ray, big fan. So this is what we do. We get dressed, we get ready for our show, and we chill. This is like the locker room before the game. All right, that's a wrap. A three-hour show is in the books. But my day is just getting started. Waking up at 4 a.m. is no joke. But being able to pick up my daughter from school, it makes it all worth it. What I do is uh, pick up my babies, get them home, feed them, because they're always hungry, which I don't understand. <laughs> Didn't you eat at school? Yes. But since I'm in fourth grade, we have different time schedules. So I eat, mm -hmm. and then we go out to recess. Okay. And then I run all of the food off. Okay. And then I'm hungry again. All right. I have to wait. Um, a time period just to go and eat at home. Oh man, rough life, rough life. I know. Okay, it's all so right. Rough being a I get up at five. Let me tell you, the difference between four and five is a lot more than one hour. So <laughs> blessed that you can yeah. get up at four. You know, it's funny because I moved to New York for the morning show, my and a lot of my East Coast friends said, "Listen, it'll be like a couple of months. You'll get used to the time difference." I'm coming from the West Coast. Mm -mm. It's been four years, <laughs> and uh, 4 a.m., mm -mm. it never comes it around never when you want easy, it to. right? Um, but I start at 4, and then I get to the studio around 5. We're live at 7, 7 to 10 a.m. And then also, I, I host e Extra. I have a job at CBS. Of I course. do some voiceovers. So I work as much as you. I'm trying to be like the next Thank Rachel Ray. Appreciate you inviting me back, though. Thank you so much. I told you I wanted you to co-host. Here we are. Here we are. It's, Here it's, we are. It's like being invited to my cousin Rachel's house. <laughs> It's like a party, a house party, you know? Today, I'm invited. Today is our house. <laughs> we did it. We, we did, did it. it. We did it. We did so it. So excited. And that is so true. The first time you were here, you were cooking. Tell them what you're cooking. So I was cooking frog dogs with my frog daughter. Frog dogs. Right, with so his a daughter. special hot dog with not, my daughter. Not real frogs in them, though. Right, right, right. We just right. do a little twist when we get in the kitchen. We like to have fun, just like you. We watch you all the time. It's all about the energy, right? You cook with love and you give that same type but of love. But it's so great that you, as a dad, not just moms, but dads cook too. And my yeah. family, the, the biggest cook, my mom was one of 10 children. The cook was my grandpa. Really? Yeah, he was the main cook for the family. But it's so beautiful to get your kids in the kitchen and yeah. get them involved because it's a self-esteem builder. It really you is. You tell me. Yeah, right? you're right about that. And it keeps them from becoming picky eaters because whatever they put their hands on and cook with you, yeah. they will try. You're right about that. It's the ultimate love language. Yeah. Right, you just get in the kitchen. Look, okay. That's ridiculous how yeah. good looking every single human <laughs> is. It, but, more than that, look how much fun you're having. Yeah, we're having a good time. That was around the holidays. I started on the left, my beautiful wife, Atoya. That's Nehemiah. My 13-year-old is huge. You can tell he eats a lot like a grown man. And my daughter, Mia Pearl, she's the 9-year-old. And then my 15-year-old, little Nate. My favorite moment is just getting home and having fun with the fam. Isn't that great? That's what it's all Me about, too. right? Me too. And I get to have fun with you today? Woo!